in this particular exercise, we're looking at a rather complex formula that deals with what's called amortization. This is section 9.5 in your book, page 30, 437, problem number 5. You're dealing with what's done when you're dealing with car payment or house mortgage kinds of loans. The formula is a beast, and I've recorded this on paper and handed it to you already, but I'm, so I'm going to do a little fast forwarding in the video because of the amount of time it will take to make it and to upload it to your computers. In problem number five, you're borrowing $8,000 at a rate, interest rate of 7.5% per year for a four-year loan. Now, four years, if you do the calculation, is going to be the same as 48 months. That's four years times 12 months per year for a total of 48. The formula is right here in front of you, and I'm basically just going to plug in the numbers in order for you to see how they work. The value of P, the principal or the amount of money being loaned out is $8,000. One plus the interest rate is the letter R is going to be 7.5%. If I do that as a decimal, it's going to be 0 0.075. 07 because it's, you know if you put 75 percent with without the zero there it's going to be horrible. The M the number of months per year this is always going to be 12 where your concerns are just go ahead and always assume that that guy's going to be 12. The N value is going to be the 48 that's the number of months you're paying it so N is going to be 48 right there. All right that's that side then the equal mark. The R value is what we're trying to calculate, what the monthly payment will be. So R is going to be by itself. Parenthesis, and again, just fill in the, the top part of the fraction right here. It's going to be 1 plus 0 0.075 divided by 12 raised to the 48th power minus 1. That's standard in the formula. The bottom is going to be... 0.75, the value of R, the interest rate, over 12 once again. That's how it's set up. Now, what I would do in this problem, and I did this on the paper portion of the exercise when I handed it out. It's a different example, but the same process takes place. If I were you, I would calculate this part on the calculator first, the part I've circled in yellow, and then I would calculate the part right here that is in blue. Now, I'm not going to go through these calculations on the video because you can punch this in your calculator yourself, and I've shown you very specifically how to do that on the sheet of paper. If you need help, you need to message me, email me, talk to me in class or whatever to help with the calculator side. But if you do the math on this, you will get a number somewhat like this one. I'm going to scroll this a little bit higher, again, just in case the video doesn't show everything that it needs. If you do this yellow side right here, you're going to get the number... Ten thousand seven hundred eighty-eight decimal. And it's a whopper. Seven nine three two something close to this. One oh seven. Don't round it off, folks, until you do the very last part of your exercise. If you round it off too much, out of indifference or laziness or confusion, you're going to get incorrect answers. Now the other side's got the R, and this part in blue is going to calculate as fifty-five decimal. 7758642148, something like that. And what you will do to get the value of R, which is your monthly payment, you're going to divide this number right here in your calculator, divided by this number. Make sure you have the decimals in the proper places as I'm trying to do in my handwriting right here, you get the idea. And when you divide this out, the value of R will end up being 193 decimal 4 or whatever. When you round it off, it's going to be money value. And what this is going to be, this is going to be your payment each month. And that's what you're calculating. Hopefully this helps you out as far as setting it up. And hopefully you have a good calculator because it's impossible to do this mathematically by hand it's just too much it's just too horrendous so don't try to stress yourself in this regard now that takes care of problem number five and that's where you're calculating the monthly payment what you will do in its sister problem which is number 12 and I'm going to scroll down here where we can look at number 12 here's what's going to happen we get a clean sheet right here and if I'm looking at number 12 on the same page 
we're going to count we're going to look at doing a schedule of payment and this may be slightly different from what you're seeing in the book or on my sheet it doesn't have to be an exact carbon copy clone duplicate twin you get the idea right now the loan that was paid on this earlier problem was eight thousand dollars now when we did the calculation earlier in the video the monthly payment ended up being one hundred ninety three dollars and forty four cents per month so that one ninety three forty four is going to be done every single month so I'm going to put right here for number payment number one it's going to be a hundred ninety three dollars and forty four cents the same thing will happen in the second month you'll pay a hundred ninety three dollars and forty four cents third payment the same way a hundred ninety three dollars and forty four cents that's always going to be your payment every single month where you're going to have some differences is in the amount of interest that you pay to get the interest paid for this very first month right here what I have to do is I have to take the balance and I don't want to confuse you right here so I'm going to do this part I'm going to take this balance right here and this was eight thousand dollars times one month times and the interest rate for one year is 0.075 but for a month, since it's a monthly payment, I'm dividing it by 12. So I'm taking this guy right here. I'm multiplying these together. 8,000 times 1 times 0 0.075 times 12. And when I do that and put in the calculator, I end up getting $50. So what's going to happen is I'm going to put $50 right there for the interest paid on the loan. Now, $50 is paid on the loan. Now, the whole monthly payment, of course is hundred ninety three forty four so if I've got hundred ninety three dollars and forty four cents and I paid and fifty of that is interest then the rest of it when I subtract one forty three forty four is applied toward the loan itself so of the one ninety three forty four fifty of its interest and one forty three forty four is principal basically these two numbers added together will equal this number now, what I do at this point is I find the new balance. Now, the new balance is going to be how much I owe on the principal. Remember, interest is what we pay extra. So, to get this new balance, I'm going to take $8,000 and subtract the principal, $143.44, from that. If I do that, I end up getting, if I do my math real fast for you, $7,856.56. So, in this next column, I'm going to put $7,800. $56.56. So my first payment information looks like this. That's my first column. I apologize for the messiness. All right? Now, so that I don't confuse you, and you can, you can rewind this video if you need to look at this process again. I just want to keep everything on one screen so it's easier to see. Now, if you have the pattern, here's what happens next. I'm now going to take, I want to find the interest for the second payment. Now, I'm still paying $193.44 per month, but what I'm getting to get the interest right here, I'm getting the interest on the unpaid balance. So I'm taking that $78.56.56. This is for the second month. This is figure right here. I'm multiplying that times one month, because it's a monthly payment, times the interest, 0 0.075 from your book, and I'm dividing that by 12 because 0.075 is a yearly interest. And when I do the calculation on this one, and round it off, I end up getting $49.10, and that's what goes right here. Now remember, my monthly payment, once again, is $193.44. $49.10 of that is interest, so to get what I'm paying on the principal, I take the $193.44, and I subtract the 4910 from that. That will give me a hundred and sorry about that. Let me erase this. If I do the subtraction on that, that's supposed to be a 49 right there. I end up getting $144.34. So again, here's why I want to be sure you're not confused. 
during the second monthly payment, I still paid one ninety three forty four, but less of it was on interest, and more of it was on principal. So now I've paid one hundred and forty four thirty four on the principal. So now what I'm going to do to get the new balance right here is to subtract this figure and this figure. So I'll take. 78.56, and I'm going to, well, I'm not sure where I can get this, but I'll do my best to get this on the video for you. I'm doing 78.56.56, subtract 144.34, and that will give you a balance on the principal of $7,712 and 22 cents. This is a pattern that you will form for this amortization. Thank goodness there are calculators that do this in the banks and even on the software program called Excel you can do these calculations very quickly. But this is a basic idea of how you set up this problem. And then if you have any questions, replay the video, take it slowly, and of course message me or see me in class. Thank you.